Okay, here's some easy extra marks if you can factorise. Notice we've been factorising these already. Now, at the end it says equals nothing. So I'm going to go about factorising as usual and show you how to pick up easy bonus marks. So, you're looking for two numbers to go into the brackets, A and B. Well, A times B, we know that it comes to 15. And we've also got A plus B equals minus 2. From what we've done already, I know you can work this out. But that should be A equals 3 and B equals minus 5. Now this is where you think 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. But if we put those into our brackets now, we've got X plus 3 x take 5 equals 0 now what values of x will give us an answer of 0 well the only way to get 0 is either this bit comes to nothing or this part comes to nothing well for this bracket to be equal to nothing x must equal negative 3 negative 3 add 3 is 0. The alternative is for x take 5 to be worth nothing. So what must x be worth for this bracket to be worth nothing? x must be worth 5. If you look, the x values, the first one is the opposite of that number, and the second one is the opposite of this number. That's how you can get extra marks in your exam.